Celebrity Deaths Now Digital Video Digest for Sunday, July 3rd through Saturday, July 9th, 2022. Sunday. Antonio Tonino Cripozzi, 76, Italian, founding member of I Camelionti in 1963, Milan, Cripozzi played the keyboards. The band's first hit was a cover of the Small Faces Shalalalali, and coincided with the popularity of the beat genre. Between 1968 and 1973 I Camelionti had four singles topping the Italian charts, including Applausi, Io Perle and El Ora Del Amore. Between 1970 and 1993 they entered the San Remo Music Festival five times. Despite numerous lineup changes, the band is still active today. Monday Turan Majumdar, 91, Indian film director. From 1959 to 2018, Majumdar directed over 30 films during his lifetime. The very first film to be credited to Yatrik was 1959 Shea Wabao Ahua. Yatrik were a trio of directors Turan Majumdar, Sachin Mukherjee, and Dilip Mukherjee until 1963, after which each began to be credited separately. In 1979, Majumdar's film Ganadivita became the first Bengali film to win National Film Award for Best Popular Film Providing Wholesome Entertainment. Dadarkirdi, 1980, with a female lead, Mahu Aroyshad Huri became a major box office success. The film won Royshad Huri Film Fair Awards East in 1981. Majumdar casts Sundhya Roy in four consecutive films Shahar Thakdur, Meghmukthi, Keelar Puthul, and Amargithi. The last two films became major debacle at the box office generating the speculation in media that Sundhya Roy was no longer capable to draw mass appeal. Tuesday Cacho Fontana, 90, Argentine broadcaster, born Norberto Police Filguras in the Barracas section of Buenos Aires, he was an only child. Beginning in 1948 at the age of 16, he was invited by a friend to the Salon Argentino and was hired on by the company adopting his stage name, Jorge Cacho Fontana. In 1950, he was hired by Riverito's Pina de Tango, on Radio del Pueblo where he worked radio theater with host Julio Cesar Barton, and as a sportscaster for Chicarita Juniors. Fontana hosted a morning show, beginning in 1955, with Maria Esther Vignola and Rina Moran on Radio El Mundo. The Fontana show was a success, and the show attracted prestigious producers such as Alberto Migra, Hugo Moser, Abel Santa Cruz, and Relampago producer Miguel Coronado Paz. Premiering on Argentine television in 1956, hosting the quiz show Odal Pregunta on Channel 7, and a talk show, La Campana de Cristal. The Fontana show on Radio El Mundo ended in 1967. He served as chief news correspondent during the 1970 ceremony bestowing the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Dr. Luis Federico Lelwar. The Fontana show returned on the airwaves as a four-hour, live current events and interview program. The show became known for its on-site reporting, and its host often interviewed guests in their cars with a mobile unit plugged into the cigarette lighter. He left Radio Rivadavia in December 1973 to pursue an offer from Spanish radio network Cadena Ser, where he continued his morning show format. In 1977, he returned to Argentina and joined Channel 13. The new program would feature more international news by incorporating a VCR and imported news footage video show. The show was a success, and on August 17, 1978, Fontana's video show was given the honor of inaugurating the nation's first color television station, ATC. The contract as spokesman for La Serenissima ended in 1989, and though the Fontana show returned on Radio Rivadavia in 1992, its cancellation in 1993 marked the effective end of Fontana's storied career. 
he was awarded the Conex Foundation Awards that honor Argentine cultural personalities for his lifetime achievement in broadcasting. Wednesday Kazuki Takahashi, 60, Japanese He started as a manga artist in 1982. His first work was Tokyo no Taka, Fighting Hawk, published in 1990. One of his earliest works, Tenancho Kudanji Buri, was published from 1991 to 1992 and lasted two volumes. Takahashi did not find success until 1996, when he created Yu-Gi-Oh! Takahashi's Yu-Gi-Oh! Manga led to the creation of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading card game published originally by Bandai, then later Konami. His pet dog, a Shiba Inu named Taro, was the basis for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading card game monster card Shiba Warrior Taro, the card's artwork was personally drawn by Takahashi. Takahashi has continued to supervise the creation of Yu-Gi-Oh! Manga since the end of the original manga's run. 2013, the one-shot manga Drump was released in Weekly Shonen Jump, based on a new game by Kazuki Takahashi. 2015, the manga artist received the Inkpot Award from Comic-Con. International for his outstanding contributions to comics. 2018, Takahashi published the limited series The Kamik in Weekly Shonen Jump. Thursday. James Kong. Born in the Bronx, NYC on March 26, 1940. While studying at Hofstra University he became intrigued by acting and was interviewed for, accepted to, and enrolled in New York City's neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater, where he studied for five years. I just fell in love with acting, he later recalled. Of course all my improvs ended in violence. Kong Began appearing off-Broadway in plays such as La Ronde before making his Broadway debut in Blood, Sweat, and Stanley Poole. In 1969, he starred in Coppola's The Rain People. Kong's first television appearance was in an episode of Naked City. He could also been seen in Route 66, The Untouchables, Death Valley Days, Craft Suspense Theater and other television series. Khan's first substantial film role was as a punk hoodlum who gets his eyes poked out in the 1964 thriller Lady in a Cage, which starred Olivia de Havilland, who praised Khan's performance. He had roles in the Alfred Hitchcock Hour and Wagon Train. He was fourth billed in a western feature, The Glory Guys. He turned down the starring role in a TV series around this time, saying I want to be an actor not a millionaire. Kong. One praise for his role as a brain-damaged football player in The Rain People 1969, directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Kong. Returned to the small screen with the TV movie Brian's Song 1971, playing dying football player Brian Piccolo, opposite Billy D. Williams. Kong did not want to return to television and turned down the role four times, but changed his mind after reading the script. The film was a huge critical success and Kong's performance earned him an Emmy nomination. In 1972 Coppola cast him as the short-tempered Sonny Corleone in The Godfather. Originally, Kong was cast as Michael Corleone, Sonny's youngest brother. During production of The Godfather in 1971, Kong was known to hang out with Carmine Persico, aka The Snake, a notorious mafioso and later head of the Colombo crime family. Government agents briefly mistook Kong, who was relatively unknown at the time, as an aspiring mobster. Kong was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his performance in the film, competing with co-stars Robert Duvall and Pacino. Kong was now established as a leading movie star. In a storied career from 1963 to 2021, Kong starred in over 60 feature films and over 15 television series. 
Friday. Gregory Itzen, 74, American actor. Born in Washington, D.C., it was Itzen's goal to become a theater actor after receiving training at the American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco. Itzen was a prolific screen, television, and stage actor known recently for character roles as U.S. President Charles Logan in the action thriller series 24, Friends, Murder One, NCIS, and The Mentalist, Night Court, Matlock, Diagnosis, Murder, Jake, and The Fatman, The O.C., Beverly Hills 9. Oh. Two. One. Oh. Judging Amy, Boston Legal, CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, The Practice, The Pretender, Firefly, Television Movie DC 9. 11, Time of Crisis, Covered Affairs, Star Trek, Deep Space 9, Star Trek, Voyager, 21 Jump Street, Quantum Leap, Murphy Brown, Empty Nest, LA. Law and other series. And in the films, Airplanes 1 and 2, The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, Teen Wolf, The Fabulous Baker Boys, Born to be Wild, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, What's Cooking, Igby Goes Down, The Ides of March, Lincoln, Small Time, Ice, The Movie, and other series. He passed away from complications from surgery. Saturday. LQ. Jones born Justice Ellis McQueen Jr., 94, American actor and film director. Born in Beaumont, Texas, on August 19, 1927, Jones, served in the United States Navy, attended Lamar Junior College and Lon Morris College in Jacksonville, Texas, and then studied law at the University of Texas at Austin. Before turning to acting, Jones worked as a stand-up comic, professional baseball and football player and ranching in Nicaragua. Jones made his film debut in 1955 in Battle Cry, credited under his birth name Justice McQueen. His character's name in that film, however, was L.Q. Jones, a name he liked and decided to adopt as his stage name for all of his future roles as an actor. A prolific actor from 1955 until 2006, Jones was in more than 50 television series and films in his lifetime. Join us next Sunday for Celebrity Deaths Now, Video Edition and Anytime Online for a complete